Today I want to demonstrate how I carry my um, my panels when I go out uh, plein air in the field. I um, for I build these clips for less than a dollar each, probably maybe maybe about a dollar each, and so I make several of them. And one, and one sitting, and I am going to show you how I do it. I use panels, uh, and as you can see, uh, there's a uh, there's a gap in between, so you can put them on your bag and your backpack, toss them in the car. These are actually dry right now, um, but these are uh, panels that I now. Uh, they're very convenient and, and simple to to make and and I'm going to show you now how I do them and and so you can see they they open like this they're pretty uh, sturdy and and now these are two of the paintings that I have so uh, these are you know, 12 by 16. Uh, it's better to use them in pairs. It works in pairs. So, being both the same size. And it's better to have four. Uh, these are already dry, but I'll, I'll, I'll explain you why it's better to use four. Because you, you can have, you set one, and then even if they're wet, they're only touching right here on the edge you know but you can be you know just careful when you're doing it you can put two here and two is the minimum I guess if you're not gonna squeeze them I mean you can still squeeze them right uh, but if you put four you can put four here and then put this two and then, then this this other two so now they're a lot better. Now you could uh, you could also put them in on each corner if you wanted it to, because this can happen. However, if you put them, I mean, you can always like if you if I put enough pressure, I will make them touch together. But if I'm careful enough, and if they touch, they 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 come back right away. So it works. Uh, I I presume that they can work on on uh, on canvas if you use the bigger clips, um, but I like I like to travel light. I don't like to carry a lot of weight. Um, I like to uh, just use one backpack and stuff everything in the backpack and and then so that's that's why and then I can even put some a few more let's say like this and then stack a couple more so I can have potentially four I, I will never paint more than four paintings in a day so um, unless I'm doing a plenary event and then that but that's a different that's a different thing altogether and I can I'm close to my car and all that so that's but this is uh, for me what's been working so I'm going to show you now how I build them and how you can build them yourself and very inexpensive you can find this pretty much everywhere all the materials and let me know if uh, they work you know they sell this they sell them but they're not exactly the same they are um, they have a, a this part is a smaller part so you you can you open it but you you this two will touch these two parts will touch they don't have the center part uh, and they sell them on Amazon and they're, they're not very strong clips they tend to uh, bounce and uh, and they don't they don't work as well um, anyways I'm gonna show you how I built them and I hope uh, I hope this uh, helps you on your on your outings uh, when you take them out uh, you know I usually paint I go lately what well, now in the summer I go to the I go, I go to the beach, and so there's sand and wind, and so if, when I take him out, uh, all you need to do is just fix whatever 
uh, marks you get on this or whatever you put it on the corner and that's you can I can even fix it with my with my thumb or my finger so, so here's one of the paintings I did recently at an event and this is in St. Augustine here's another one um, I'm still gonna work on this I am but uh, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna work on this boat now that it's dry and and just just you know just make something different with this maybe fix a the a uh, lighthouse anyway I'll, I'm gonna show you how I do it okay so uh, materials pretty straightforward have a cheese cup obscure they have the jb welds the two the epoxies that you mix together i think they're like 7.99 um, or something like that um and uh you just put uh, equal amounts and then just uh, uh mix them together i um i i use uh also uh, this binder clips um that I buy them at the dollar store uh, and and then what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna mix them I'm gonna use the uh, this uh, this uh, she's got she's got obscure and and uh, you I I'll, I'm gonna show you how I I recycle it and use it because I I cut a piece of it and and I put it uh, as uh, also as part of the uh, whole weld uh, this is this is the uh, one that you can um, uh, weld uh, metal with it. Uh, you can file it, sign it, and it sets in about four to six hours. So, so now you see how I have some left on the on the tip of that uh, the, the skewer. So what I do is I remove this part, right? I don't need that, and then same thing on the other one and now I I'm gonna put them uh, they're, they're gonna go both together and in between I'm gonna put the the piece of uh, stick in between to fill uh, that gap of air that's in between both those, those two So I am just applying it very generously. Put enough, uh, enough so so I can build a big big chunk, and then I do the same thing on the other side. But what I do is I I cut this part very carefully without chopping my finger and I'll use it also as a as part of the a uh, uh, as part of the bond so it gives it a little bit more surface to grab onto and now I'll, I'll repeat the process and I'll just add more more epoxy on the other side. Um, now, one thing is that you'll notice is that um, before, um, you probably need a little bit more. Yeah, I'll add a little more. Uh, you'll notice that once you put them together, you know, it's very liquidy, so, so they kind of stay, but but what you want is, is you want it to, um, let's say after two hours, come with a, a knife or a blade or sharp razor blade, and 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 just in the right where the where the joint is, uh, where it opens, um, just run your razor blade so so it doesn't stick there, so it's not not so it doesn't stay stuck, and just leave it like that. Leave it, I, I leave it overnight, you know, it says four to six hours, but 
I leave it overnight and it's ready the next day. And so I'm gonna show you how it looks then. After that, you see how now um, it's already dry. This one's already dry and and it's pretty sturdy. You know, it stays, it stay, it stays together pretty good. Um, so give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments, if it works for you and uh, good luck with your painting.